There is something haunted here, something sinister just around the corner, a power not for the faint-hearted. It has been almost seven years since the power first arrived from England, seven years of the feeling that something dark and menacing lurked in our minds, a music that touched something cold. Hello Vinyl Community, I'm back again with you to do another video and this time I am featuring the Black Sabbath Deluxe versions and I just wanted to chat about them and kind of do a seal to reveal and talk about the mastering. So uh, I did a previous uh, talk on this version uh, which is the Vinyl Me Please version which is basically using the same metal parts from the Rhino reissue and I think it's the earlier 2000 reissue that was done by Kevin Gray and just to show you the vinyl again and fortunately my vinyl collection is boxed up right now because I'm doing a remodel in a room so it's all boxed up but uh, this is what it looks like and if you look at the dead wax inscription you're gonna see a KG at AT can't make out the last letter but um, that is uh, a designator for his acoustic mastering lab which was located on the premises of RTI at least my, that's my understanding and uh, I really thought he did a fantastic job with this um, I, I do prefer the vertical swirl version that I have of this album unfortunately I have that box step so I can't show it but uh, just to do a compare and contrast this is the reissue and this is the uh, Rhino version so you can see that the reds are a little bit deeper there now who did this mastering because it was done by Rhino you would think that they use the same master but they didn't um, this you know has the additional uh, album full of alternate takes and uh, some instrumentals which is just fantastic now this is my theory so if you look on the web it says that this was done from a 2012 remaster I've never seen a Black Sabbath 2012 release uh, I'm not a Black Sabbath uh, master by any means or you know ultra fan that knows all these things but um, I do think the mastering is coming from this guy. So this is the 2009 uh, uh, deluxe version on CD that was done by Sanctuary. Uh, here you can see the original Vertigo as it would be on a vertical swirl. And looking at the mastering credits, uh, you will look in both the CD version and you will see an Andy Pierce uh, down here. But I think this lacquer was cut by a Mr. Sean McGee at Abbey Road Studios. So doing a little investigative work, um, this is what you're going to see in the dead wax. This little I and dot 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 and an I. Could it be a replication of Abbey Road Studios? I don't know. But if you look at the Beatles stereo and mono box sets, if you look at all of the Iron Maiden reissues, you'll see this very same symbol. And these reissues were done by Sean McGee. And just to let you guys know, Sean McGee got a thrashing for the stereo box set of the Beatles because it came from a digital source. So he may have been pressured to uh, do these guys. Uh, but now this is what they sound like and I honestly prefer the Kevin Gray version so I'll let you give it a listen here
Okay, so as you can tell, there's a distinct difference in the sound quality. And I say, you know, just looking at this guy, um, at least the, the wave spectrum that this was compressed, um, you can tell from the uh, Kevin Gray version that, you know, there's a better dynamic range. And usually a better dynamic range translates to much much better sound not always but uh, it's usually a good indicator and if you guys are not aware of it I would like to promote the dynamic range database and so unfortunately this album and this album are not there but you can see different versions of paranoid and ultimately, you can see from the screen capture that, you know, the early 70 release was one of the best sounding ones, at least you would think, because it had the best dynamic range. And so for me, that's usually an indicator of, you know, how good a release is. So um, these guys, you know, it was kind of a blind blind. I don't have enough data on it, but uh, to do a little sealed to reveal here. So this is the third album, Master of Reality. And what I like about uh, quality record pressing, QRP out of Kansas, is they put them in loose bags so the shrink wrap doesn't, you know, cause warpage over time. So the best uh, reissuers will do that. We'll put them in the loose bags. So again, just kind of showing the gatefold here. Um, see if there's anything special on this one. This uses the uh, original US labels. And Paranoid did come with an insert. I'm not seeing, well, yes I am. So it looks like they have nice printed inners uh, interesting that they're showing the master tapes so I haven't listened to this guy so it may sound better uh, but I was not too impressed with Paranoid uh, again Andy Pierce uh, let's see what else I can tell you let's you this one this is past lives so this uh, was released in the early 2000s initially on CD there was an LP release that was uh, done in the UK um, it never did receive a US LP release um, so let's take a look again kind of a loose bag and we'll take a look here nice printed enters again live shots and I think this live set spans a period of five years so it looks like they went with the original label theme I'm seeing the Sean McGee indicator and again if I'm wrong on this if somebody knows better please correct me but uh, I am, with everything that I've pieced together, I think that is a Sean McGee thing, or Abbey Road Studios. Uh, the last one to show is uh, Black Sabbath, the self-titled debut. Again. Get this guy open. And this is what you get on as bonus material. And the original US was not a gatefold, but the UK version was, and this is what exactly what the UK version looked like. Uh, let's see. Same theme. You've got printed inners here of the master tapes.
Yeah, using the original labels. So, nothing too super exciting. Um, I did like the CD release. I thought the, the CD release, at least on Paranoid, uh, had a better booklet associated with it. Well, and uh, the um, the liner notes were printed on the the the, the sleeves, uh, but what you're missing uh, from the the CD version is all the photos. So, like here's uh, photos of singles. Um, or shots of the band. So the CD itself, the uh, the package is not is is actually kind of a good deal. And mine actually had a third disc with a uh, 5.1 surround uh, DVD. Yeah, quadraphonic mix on uh, side two. Uh, so. There you have it. There are my thoughts on Black Sabbath. I uh, hope you enjoy. If I have something incorrect, shoot me an email or uh, shoot me a comment down below. And have a great week, everyone.